Okay, I have a quick video here from a card show I went to this morning. It was uh, in Hamilton called the Sport Card Collective. I think they run this show every two months or something. Pretty cool venue anyway. Lots of vendors. Uh, spent a total of $80 on cards, so we'll flip through what I have. First up we have... This was two bucks, Trey Turner, uh, blue, Gypsy Queen out of 99. Got a J-Rod Finest. Uh, this one is, this one was I think five bucks. I always check for scratches when I, when I buy these too, man. Like, I don't know what it is with these Chrome cards lately, the quality of tops or upper deck any cards is really in a tank right now uh retired patrick walk canvas from 1516 this one's pretty cool i got this one for five this is a really cool card uh frank thomas game use bat this was three bucks It's from, uh, I think, 2000 Upper Deck SP. Then I got a few vintage or vintage themed. This Clemente uh, Refractor from Finest. It has the, the coating on it still. Um, the refractors for these are pretty sought after cards. They're hard to find so I thought I'd grab that this was actually my most expensive uh, purchase of the day I think this was 25 bucks maybe 20 I think you might have given me a, a deal so following suit I have this Clemente from 69 El Pichi uh, $5 bin it's uh, low grade but Actually, it has pretty good eye appeal other than the crease. Couldn't pass that up. A couple hockey cards. This Bellavo, I didn't even notice the pen mark. Hilarious. $10 anyway for this 69 All Star. And the highlight, I guess, would be this Marcel Dion rookie card. It was in the 50% off uh, booth for $25. So this was probably the most expensive card I bought, actually. Yeah, can't go wrong with the 7172 uh, Dion. That's about it. A little slow with the uh, content lately, but I plan on doing some shows and antique markets while I have a few weeks off here in April. Uh, still waiting for the next round of PSA cards, vintage and modern. Uh shows the status on the website i think the modern stuff is done i'm waiting on the vintage I'm gonna combine the shipping back big big card show in toronto on the 23rd i'm gonna go to that on the friday that'll be that'll be fun so yeah all right stay tuned